Hello to all my Gemini viewers and subscribers. Welcome to your mid-January love and romance reading 2017. I hope that all of you guys are doing well and that you've been staying warm and that you enjoyed your three-day weekend and um, the New Year's. Know that this is a general reading, so if you would like a personal reading, please click in the description box below. Click on the link. That the link will lead you to my website. The link is actually my website, and there you will be able to purchase a reading as well as book your reading, okay? I also have various products. I have Yoni Eggs, which I'll be doing a video about very soon and I also have um, my Cherica's magical bath sets okay and um, here's one of my bath bars okay so this particular bath bar is my love bath bar and this particular bath bar is good for drawing romance and love to you attraction sexual attraction pass passion um, and it's good for those who are currently in a relationship for kind of bringing that spice back into your your relationship. For those who are currently single, again, this is good for bringing or attracting, you know, the opposite sex or the same sex. All right. And um, it's good for romance as well. All right. So my, my bath bars do have herbs in them as well as oils. And some of them come with crystals on the back. So this particular bath bar, my love and romance bath bar. It has quartz crystals on the back and they smell fabulous. Each one has a different fragrance and each have, they, they each have different purposes. Okay. So definitely check out the, my, my website in the description box below. And, um, the sets would come with a bath bar, incense, a candle, herbs that have crystals in them and, um, and other things. It's a, each set has a different mixture of herbs, all right, for each purpose, and stones as well, all right, so definitely check that out, and they smell fabulous, they smell so good, all right, so let's go ahead and hop into your reading, Gemini, all right, so spirit, please give me some insight, what will be taking place mid-January to the end of January for my Gemini viewers and subscribers who are currently in a relationship and for those who are single at this particular time? So comment down below and let me know what you guys have planned for your lover for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. It's coming really quickly. If you have any plans, let me know. And for those who are currently single, what do you plan on doing as well? Is it going to be a self-love day? I would recommend that you get some self-love in. Self-love is the best thing you could have before loving anyone else. All right. If you don't have self-love, there's no way that you could love anyone else. So get that self-love in. Okay, so I feel like these are your cards, Gemini. All right, so Gemini, you have some very interesting cards. Right, so Gemini, for those who are currently in a relationship at this time, 
I do see that some of you guys are in a relationship with someone that's very sneaky, very deceptive, and someone that has hidden motives, all right? All right, this, this individual is someone with hidden motives, someone that's a very... Someone that's very controlling and manipulative, okay? I have a feeling that someone is in an abusive relationship, and maybe several of you guys that are in a, an abusive relationship or a relationship that is very controlling, very manipulative, and um, someone that's almost like really driving you crazy. Okay, this person is mentally abusive. Okay, there are, there are lots of worries and concerns within your relationship. Okay, and I, I feel like there's a need to escape, okay? I feel like some of you guys are in relationships that are stressing the hell out of you mentally. Okay, and spiritually as well. Okay, your lover is sneaky, deceptive, has hidden agendas. Um, and you're aware of your, your partner's characteristics as well as um, the, the deception, okay, the deceit. And you're trying your best to, you know, stay calm, but sure, this is, this is really a concern for you. It's almost as if you're you're not getting any rest. This person has you worried consistently. This person has you stressed consistently. You're having restless nights. Um, I do have a feeling that for some of you Geminis, you're in a relationship with a cheater. Okay? You're not for sure if this person is going to be deceptive or faithful one day, okay? You're 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 not you're not for sure of your your partner's intentions. Or what, is, what it is that they're doing when you're not around, okay? Because I do have a feeling that there's definitely some deception and some cheating that's going on, okay? I do have a feeling that mid-January to the end of January that some of you will be um, breaking up with your partner short term, okay? Separating and that you'll be worried about what if, if you and your partner are going to get back together. There's going to be some worry and concern, Um on whether or not your your partner is being faithful, or or what your partner is doing while you guys aren't together, or why you got why why you're taking this break. If your partner is with the next woman or man, if your partner is going to come back to you or find someone else, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get some clarification for your cards, Gemini. So spirit, please give me some clarification for the devil card. And the, let's see, the Nine of Swords. So I do feel like these are your cards, Gemini. <clears throat> yeah, so definitely seeing that your partner is keeping something from you. Um, this could be a secret lover or it could just be emotions. It could be that your partner is being um, lacking emotion and keeping their feelings inside and not expressing the way that they feel or you know showing the emotion and the affection that they once showed um i feel like for some of you guys you guys are really concerned and worried and and that you're praying you're hoping that um your relationship will overcome whatever issues it is that it has okay i'm seeing some sadness and some grief okay some grieving Definitely some sadness and some grieving. Some lonely nights ahead. Okay. 
And I do have a feeling, again, like your partner is keeping something from you. Some sort of, re your partner is withholding some sort of information. I feel like for some of you guys right now, this is just strictly an emotional situation. I feel like this is, it, it may not be um, a, a lover's triangle. It's just um, the need to know how your partner feels. Your partner, I feel like there may be some, it's an argument of some sort or some sort of um, conflict that creates some division and that your partner is keeping their emotions and their feelings um inside they're not revealing how it is that they're feeling about a certain situation about how they feel and I, I honestly they know what they're doing um they know that this is hurting you they know that this is upsetting you and they're intentionally doing it okay and they're being very deceptive and very nasty okay All right, so for those who are currently single at this particular time, I do feel like for a lot of my Geminis who are single that in the past there, there may have been some, you know, bad relationships, but you're ready to move forward. Um, you're ready to have fun. You're ready to um, party with your friends and, as well as your family. And you're ready to date. Okay. I feel like for some of you Geminis, there's some confusion here. Um, you're not really for sure whether or not you want to be in a relationship or if you want to play the field and have fun and date around. Okay. I'm seeing some Geminis that are um, ready to have fun. One night stands or just, you know, just some fun without commitment. Okay. You're not ready for anything serious, okay? You just you just want to have some fun and, again, play the field. And I do have a feeling that some of you guys will be dating or meeting new people mid-January to the end of January, okay? There's going to be some dating. And no strings attached fun. All right, so let's go ahead and get some clarification for your cards, Gemini. So Spirit, please give me some clarification for the Six of Cups as well as the Two of Swords reversed. Cards, Gemini. <clears throat> All right, Gemini, you've got a lot going on, or you'll be having a lot going on. Okay, so somebody from your past is definitely checking you out, and they're going to be making a move soon. Okay, this is somebody from your past, and the relationship between you and this individual um, was not a successful relationship. There was um, differences between the two of you. It may be that this individual lacked. Um, financial stability um, or that you guys you guys were two different people mentally okay this individual is going to be coming back into your life okay um, but I feel like you're you're ready to move forward you don't want anything to do with this person but they're gonna they're gonna try to come back into your life but you're just like you know what I don't want anything to do with you um, you have your eye on someone else, but like I said, there's there's definitely some energy, some masculine energy in your reading for those who are single. Um, there There's this man that you've had your eye out on or that you're going to be dating or are currently dating, and you've been just really having a lot of fun with this guy. Um, it's just one of those, it, 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 he could be what you would consider a fling or, um, you know, just some... 
just simply having fun, no strings attached, okay? And you're enjoying it. This man is very attractive. This man um, is possibly dark complected. Someone that is, you know, possibly um, Hispanic, Latino descent, Indian, African American, African. Okay. Or Indian as well. Okay, now this could even this could be anyone, but that's the feeling that I get is that this individual is someone that is of a darker complexion, dark hair, dark features. All right, so definitely some fun that's going to be going on mid January to the end of January for my single Gemini's. All right, so let's go ahead and get some spiritual advice from Spirit in regards to your card, Gemini. Your card. So Spirit, please give my Gemini viewers and subscribers some spiritual advice in regards to their cards. Spiritual advice they could use in love and in day-to-day. -day. From day-to-day. -day. Okay, so I do feel like this is your card, Gemini. All right, you have the the Lunar Queen, she of the Celestial Crescent. All right, so bear with me while I grab my book so that I could read your spiritual guidance message. All right, Gemini, there is a deep feminine wisdom that recognizes the importance of cycles of rest and replenishment and essential balancing to our actions of power and demonstration. You are asked to allow this replenishment for yourself now, trusting that you are now in a cycle of creation that is about to shift into a new phase. Release and enjoy the process without having to control or force it. Isis as Lunar Queen understands the cycle of creative power and flow. Sometimes it can be hard to let go of a desire to force control and make things happen, to exert might and willpower to bring what you wish for into being by sheer determination, exertion, and force. Yet the vast creation power of the feminine principle is the honoring and flowing with cycles of activity and rest, of releasing force and surrendering into the perfection of what is happening right now. Realizing that this actually brings us divine manifestation and creation more effortlessly and gracefully into greater effect. The celestial crescent is the moon in her changing form. This oracle comes to you at a time when you are shifting from one phase in your spiritual and creative journey into a new phase. This is a time to pay deep attention to the messages of your body and allow them to guide you. Do you need to balance your activity with more rest? Do you need to be actively creating? but from a more relaxed and allowing rather than demanding or forceful mental state? Or is it time for you to spring into action once more? Has the time come to take a step forward? Pay attention to any other card that you draw with the Lunar Queen to more fully understand, understand which phase is most appropriate for you now. These cards will help you connect with your inner wisdom and the guidance of your own body wisdom for the greatest timing and unfoldment of your manifestation. Remember, sometimes more time in the oven prevents an uncooked meal, an undercooked meal. Sometimes we just need to wait a little longer. The quiet times are dark moon energies and times when you will sense from your inner wisdom, your body wisdom, that you are in need of replenishment and percolation. This, the other times when you feel the inner oven timer has rung and it is time to get that delicious meal on the table your body will urge you to dance to act to communicate to be bold and take steps these are full moon energies your body will help you know where you are at and what you need the flow between the dark moon and the full moon and all the phases in between is constant and allowing the flow even several times in a day or an hour, you will maximize your creativity and allow your life to manifest creative project after creative project, should you so choose. 
you will feel great inner harmony, wellness, and connection. This oracle is also a reminder that this feminine wisdom is not widely accepted in Western culture as yet, with the distorted view of what constitutes productive behavior. The Lunar Queen is quite a radical. You will need to really believe in your own wisdoms and give yourself great support and trust your own body and wisdom. And as you, le you learn to operate in this more intuitive, flexible, responsive, feminine way. The Oracle tells you that the Lady Isis and her spiritual guidance that cares for you completely encourages and supports you in being strong and giving yourself absolute permission to rest when needed. To honor your creative cycles for the greatest productivity and quality. If you have been wanting to create something or feel frustrated in your creative enterprises, the Lunar Queen Oracle also contains the message for you that something creative is within you and wanting to emerge. It is stirring in your unconscious and soon it will be reflected more clearly back to you and you shall be able to act. But for now, have patience. There can be much inner work required before the relatively swift outer work of bringing the creative impulse into form even begins such as the natural creative flow at times if you have already or if you're already in the flow and want to know if this is the time to let to really let go and shine like the gorgeous full moon the answer is yes trust and know that you are being guided by your own inner wisdoms and supported by a she of the celestial crescent the lunar queen lady isis all right, Gemini, so that is your your spiritual guidance message, <clears throat> and I hope that I was able to help you, and again, if you guys would like a personal reading, a private reading, click down in the description box below and click on my website. All right, I love you guys. Stay blessed, stay well, and I'll see you again in February for your love and romance reading. Ashe!